Hi everyone, everyone is waiting for the Pirates of the Caribbean part 6. But there is a different plan, different plan of having a reboot to the original franchise. So it could uh, see the Pirates of the Caribbean series return to its roots in one fundamental way. The original Pirates of the Caribbean series consisted of 5 films released between 2004 to 2017. The movie starred our fa very favorite Johnny Depp as the incompetent pirate Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow and all proved to be financial successes. However, with each passing film, more and more characters were introduced and the plot began to feel increasingly convoluted. As a result, uh, critical, reaction progressively, uh, critical reaction progressively got worse. A reboot could allow the Pirates of the Caribbean movies to make a return to its form. Component pirate Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow and all proved to be financial successes. However, with each passing film, more and more characters were introduced and the plot began to feel increasingly convoluted. As a result, uh, critical reaction progressively got worse. However, a reboot could allow the Pirates of the Caribbean movies to make a return to its form. Especially if they embrace an aspect not seen since the first movie. So the Pirates of the Caribbean films were in a sense adventure films with a flavor of fantasy. They evoked the tone and style of the best swashbuckler movies from days gone by yet were infused with a distinctly Oz sense of humor. What a horrible way to live. You will pay for what you did to However, for all their seafaring hijinks and uh, uses of well-known pirate imagery, the film increasingly lacked a distinct sense of scope. In fact, not since the first installment, 2004's Curse of the Black Pearl had the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise elicited a feeling of grandeur. This is because the latter Pirates films were made ocean feel usually unusually small. So ultimately, the parts of the Caribbean franchise obsession with the character of Captain Jack Sparrow ended up causing damage. Of course, Jack Sparrow had been the main character but the films could only introduce so many people from his past before things started to get silly. Every man villain in the parts of the Caribbean franchise was revealed to be an old enemy of Jack's. Be it Barbosa, Davy Jones, Blackbeard or Salazar. Each one of them had encountered Jack prior to the events of the first film. The repetition of this drop not only got boring but it reduced the scope of the tale. So, the curse of the Black Pearl had both a sense of mystery and possibility surrounding the vast ocean setting. Not only did uh, everyone know Jack but everyone else seemingly knew each other throughout the Pirates of the Caribbean sequels. The ocean of the first film felt like a large and daunting place where everyone could easil easily go missing. Furthermore, the curse of the Black Pearl had both a sense of mystery and possibility surrounding the vast ocean setting. The fact that everyone in the world of Pirates of the Caribbean was familiar with the one or other and seemed to seemed to never be more than a stone's throw away from the central conflict made the franchise setting feel like a small place. So why a reboot? To, re re to return a uh, great sense of uh, scope to the Pirates franchise, a reboot is definitely the right move because uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 6 needs to move on from Jack Sparrow and a fresh start with a new character is exactly the way to do this. If Pirates of the Caribbean 6 takes inspiration from the first movie by inter introducing characters unfamiliar with each other and by instilling a new sense of mystery. It could lead 
to the series regaining the immense scope it once had. This could help to reju rejuvenate the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and restore interest in the brand. So arguably the loss of scope seen in the first five Pirates of the Caribbean films was a symptom of a wider problem in Hollywood. Thanks in part to the MCU's popularity, there was a period during the 2010s where every studio had a shared universe that saw many characters from multiple films crossing paths with one another like with the Pirates films. This had the effect of making the fictional worlds in which the characters lived seem smaller, thereby reducing the scope. Disney will wisely avoid going down this route by using Pirates of the Caribbean 6 to propel the franchise in a new direction so thank you everyone i hope everyone is now hoping for a reboot rather than a part six of the jack sparrow so thank you friends i'll see you in the next video bye